welcome to the first half of the Talk Heavy Podcast. Hey, we in the building, man. Today we got some special guests with us. <laughs> you keep calling us uh, special guests. I think with, you're very at special. This point, we're like part of the show. Not special Ed. I don't want y'all get this confused with like last nah. week. Like Come last on, week's episode. SGB. Special is in like dear to my heart special. Aww. People, I think people, I get women every people time. Agreed, people agreed though with uh, GV's standpoint a little bit. Yeah. Um, but some people said you were sick. Yeah. They said oh, that you were sick and that you needed to get locked up. Oh, from last week? Yeah. yeah. I mean, but it, nobody can really answer the question, though. You know what I mean? Like, it's, it it's like, y'all might have not, not have liked my delivery for how I asked the question about, mm -hmm. you know, the, the what, are we, what are we calling it? Um, the question mentally, was mentally, uh, what, no, no, for, no, no, for, for especially for autistic, autistic folks. Okay. He was saying that who is supposed to sleep with them, is it wrong to sleep with them? And what we came to was that, f to the world, when men do it, mm -hmm. it's something wrong. But when mm -hmm. women do it, it's wow, she look past her. Yes. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and I was having a conversation before the show with Porter Rich, and even he said, like, yo, kind of, we kind of discriminating against them. All right. Just throw me out there. By, by, <laughs> no, by, no, by, no, by not, by not no, 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 no. no. By, I, I, you know. a, absolutely. When I when I tapped in, you know, I was just like, I think it's definitely like the way we have fun with things because yeah, yeah, yeah. we mm -hmm. like to we like to you know laugh at some of the pain. And I think it's yeah. a lot of people out here in the world that can relate to that when yeah. when we do it in that fashion because some of this stuff, for real, for real, is really like a good conversation mm -hmm. and like because it generates you, it. Yeah, 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 yeah. People, nobody should really be being like. Discriminated, discriminated against yeah. and really looked at different. Yeah, and, unless, and, I mean, unless you over 200 pounds. And like right, I said, let's, 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 we didn't do the intro. All right, fuck. Oh, you oh, yeah, we we didn't oh, oh, no, 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 no. so, introduce ourselves. That, you, we already know, shit. you already know who it is. It's Dev Nasty, a.k.a. Dangerous Dev Nasty. Devin Way, a.k.a. Choke Your Mom Out, a.k.a. Choke Your Pop Out. Of course, to the left of me. It's your girl, Valeska D. Y'all already know the fashionista. We're here with the talk heavy. Y'all already know who's next. It's your boy. It's the people's champ. We back. Let's go. You ready? I'm ready. Yeah, 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 yeah! <laughs> it's the Prince of Hunting and Park. <laughs> the BBW level. Uh -huh. The pregnant woman slayer, <laughs> Mr. Two push, push ups tonight. tonight. The oh, man tonight. built in the image of God himself, Slice Maximus. It's the North Philly legend. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Strawberry Mansion's finest. <laughs> the BBW hater. The pregnant. Woman creator. Mm. They call me Jesus' first cousin. What? He go raw cause the condom keep bussin' from North Philly to South Beach. Cause that's about as long as this pipe reach. <laughs> you should always fuck with a chick that stutter from the get-go. Cause you might bust your nut before, before she, she say, say no. no. Mm. And sucking dick is good for your mental health. So don't do it for him. Do it for yourself. G <laughs> underscore <laughs> winner. All right, now we ready. We ready. As y'all know, first of all, before we get to the first half, which is usually our question of the day, all you lazy motherfuckers at home, hit like and subscribe. <laughs> yes. Now. Yeah. God damn, y'all be taking a long time. We got to beg y'all. Yeah, y'all don't even give a fuck and, about and me. And hit us up in the comments, man. We answer all comments. We mm -hmm. answer somebody in this room yeah. will respond to your comment. Yeah. We definitely, and we appreciate everybody that do jump into the comment section, and you know we like having that back and forth. Unless it's the one, who's the one nigga? I gotta call him out, uh, so, Richard Premium. <laughs> yo, my man be going on tangents that I don't know what is going on, but we see you, we see you, Rich. Hey man, yeah. say some of that weed, man. Porter, want to check it out? Yeah, <laughs> Y'all want to get into the question? Hold on, but y'all, yeah. y'all always got like a. A emailer, you know, always giving y'all questions. I got a question for y'all. Oh, oh shit. shit. Let me pause this question. Let's yeah. go. So know. check this out, right? Mm. I'm just curious about, you know, the the male's anatomy, right? Oh, so like, yeah. you know, <laughs> the penis, it's all right the, down here. the balls, mm -hmm. you know, like for women, you know, our thighs rub, mm -hmm. right? But how do y'all like you know, because the balls hang a little bit. Like, y'all don't mm -hmm. all wear briefs, right? There's some guys that wear boxers. So mm -hmm. how do y'all, like, do y'all feel the balls rubbing on the leg? Absolutely. Like, what? Well, do y'all yeah, feel so the, the penis hang down? Questions. So, you know what? Like, I'm going to tell Dad. you what it's like. It's like if I tell you right now, breathe. Think about breathing. Now you're conscious of your breaths, but you're not conscious of it. Like, now I feel it. But it, mm -hmm. I don't feel it all day until yeah. you say something. You yeah. feel what I'm saying? So do y'all gotta walk a certain way? Do y'all no. gotta walk? No. Your... no, no, no. But no. I don't. 
I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if I don't know if when I was young my balls was bigger than like now. You're probably skinnier. I mean, no, it no, probably no. was back. You probably backed up. I'm saying you do kind of no, release that, your balls now. That's what I'm thinking. Maybe maybe it was back then. Like I didn't release enough because <laughs> oh, maybe I've been releasing more lately because. <laughs> And that's a whole nother story. But because, no, no, no. But to get back to what you're saying, I remember back in the day being young, and I do remember, like, how, I think it was summer times that used to kind of, like, trigger this and help with this, like, sweat. But I do remember walking and, like, my nuts, my balls with my inner thigh, yeah, like, at yeah. some points causing, like, a little, mm -hmm. like, Rug burn type. Right. So you know you what I mean? Put powder. Yeah. Or from time to powder, time. Powder. Fucking right. Well, that's what women use, between, you know. Yeah. Or from time to time, like, like every now and then, it doesn't probably happen often, but every now and then, you'll go sit down in the car. You'll go get in the car and go sit down and, like, you know, sit on, yeah. your, sit on your balls sometimes. And that shit. That shit, that shit hurt. hurt. I want to say, yeah, I, yes. I, 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 maybe because I got thicker women, but I seen them put, like, some deodorant between their thighs. What? Oh, I don't I know. Ladies at home, let me know if that's a thing. They, like, Rub deodorant between the thighs. I mean, I'm trying know, to teach y'all yeah. girls who thighs be rubbing. I never, I, I don't never know. try. Well, yeah. my thighs don't rub no more. That's crazy that Thank you. God. Mm -hmm. That's crazy that you mentioned this though, because that was like a real thing for me back in the day. And I think think about my balls. I wear boxer briefs. I, I think really had you, that so that's what I'm saying. Because back in the day, boxer briefs weren't a thing. You know, back in the day, dudes wore boxers. Yeah, regular like, boxers. Like regular no, boxers. And, there, and there's definitely a difference in that because the boxer brief kind of like. Yeah, cups yeah, it in, yeah, like, it you know what I'm saying? hold it in for you. Yeah. yeah. Like, yeah, I think yeah, yeah, most yeah. people, I, well, I do. I wear boxer briefs. No, remember, George, you used to wear the tidy whites when you used to Maybe. White, you know what I'm saying? What, the bikini drawers? <laughs> yeah, the white drawers. I did have a bikini <laughs> drawers. I, I, I spun it out at your house ever since a yeah, kid. Yeah, so I, I, I did have tidy I had the tiger. Yeah, I used to have, I used to wear, like, the tidy whiteies. Hold on, hold on, real quick. Did y'all ever had a fear? Do you remember, like, back in the day, gym class would, so back in the day, people's shorts were shorter. And the gym clothes, Shorts that they used to give oh, you. Oh yeah, 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 shit. The, the head, the head of my dick definitely came out and the bottom of my like, face. Yeah, no, 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 real thing. You was all no, it was, no, it was a real thing. Like, like, you know, they, so they used to make you sit in something called like squads or lines. Yeah, yeah. And you had to sit down, and you would be so scared because think about this. And it's around. And it's around your legs and shit. Yeah, because it's around. It's around that age, them teenage years. When you first start like really noticing girls, mm -hmm. so at, at those ages mm -hmm. you used to walk around school and your dick would get hard yeah. because you now you're starting to look at girls differently. That's where you and, had to put your yes. uh, your dick in your belt, like yeah, your belt put your line. dick in your belt, your belt line. line. Niggas used to pull pull their dicks up and put it and, 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 and put sure. yeah, inside in their belt. That's yeah. a fact. Yeah, niggas still do that now. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but listen. Yeah, that, oh, I'm, try, I'm, try, I'm trying to really think of like because you brought up a great thing and I'm trying to think of what used to make my like legs get that rug burn and was it my balls was it that. was mm -hmm. it no was it me just running around all day because I definitely like was just outside all day in the trap all crazy like I'm trying to think of what used to maybe it was the boxers because now that they mention that when y'all mention the boxer <laughs> shit I'm thinking like no that's back when we had the the paper hard boxers where it was like it was like a gift and a curse. I know what you're talking about. They were hard boxes, the hobby store boxes. Yeah, yeah, exactly. No bullshit, no bullshit. They was hard like they was hard like curtains. Uh huh. They was made out of like curtains. That's a fact though. But the one good thing that I liked about it is just like a curtain, your dick could come out. Yeah. Easily. Right. No, seriously, it wasn't like right. Like those boxes were perfect for like when you just go chill with a chick and she trying to say it ain't the time yet. And then you should just happen to peek out. No, 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 when that that's what made for real? yeah that's what made niggas uh, stop wearing I'm, boxers. I'm trying to understand why they're wearing it backwards, but now I get it. Oh, <laughs> that shit why? That. <laughs> Which is why. It took me a second. I'm like, what? Yeah. why and, would and, they do that? And, in jail, they in jail. You know, boxers is like 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 your shorts for real. For real, unless you gonna walk yeah, around walk that around hot ass jumper all day. And I'm talking about county jail. I ain't right. talking about prison shit. County jail. Unless you're going to wear the jumper all day, boxes become your pair of shorts. So everybody, for real, for real, on some G shit, you really like required to wear two of them bitches. 
Mm-hmm. You can't be walking around here with your meat just slipping out every two couple <laughs> seconds. Little peekaboo joint. Yeah, yeah. And oh, niggas shit. ain't having that. Mm. Oh, we shit. Got, we got yeah. a question of that. And, and remind me, I never want to go to jail. Fuck <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. right, that. Here we go. You, 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 you clumsy. You Man, definitely If you do, listen. If you do, when you order boxes, make sure you get a medium and a large. The medium is your The draws. medium underneath. Okay, thank you. Good to know. I'm going to give you prison tell. <laughs> <laughs> That nigga ain't gonna wear drawers. I ain't going to jail. <laughs> you fuck you, bitch. <laughs> All right, here we go. Question of the day of the first half. Second question. Oh, Wally had a good one. I just listened to everybody talk about their balls in here. That's some fucking other shit. Here we go. I'm writing into this show and I have a dilemma. My girlfriend and I are very happy. Eight years ago, our beautiful son was born and we have no issues. All right, well, what the fuck are you writing in for? Right. All right, here you go. I recently have been. Having doubts about if I'm the father of my son based on looks alone. Oh, shit. All right. He, he's doubting if this is his son based off looks. I know it sounds crazy, but every time I will make a joke about it, my girl, she gets like out, uncomfortable and bent out of shape. Something just wasn't right to me. To make the long story short, I went and got a paternity test of me and my son. I felt terrible as soon as I did it and even said, fuck it. I'm not going back to get the results. Curiosity is killing me, though. Do you think I should get the results or just say fuck it? What what do you say? What will I say? Um, oh, here you go. What I will say though is if I find out this is not my son, I'm not fucking. I'm fucking out of their lives forever. I can't read today. This shit started making me tear up a little bit. <laughs> Damn, bro. I'm sorry. So here we go. He's questioning his son's being his based off looks, and he snuck and got a paternity test. Mm-hmm. If he already did that and went and you know got the paternity test, he might as well. Find out what the results is because this is going to be something that comes back again. Yeah, it's mm-hmm. going to eat him alive. Like, you might as well just, you already did it. Um, I don't think based off a of look should be your, like, your motive to do that. Um, I think that's a, Oh, wait. But no, because sometimes there's, I mean, if it's something major where you have two brown skid parents and you come out just very fair skin. And or like, Bill Cosby Chinese, did it. Hold on, Bill yeah. Cosby and them did it. It happens. Mm-hmm. Come on now. Don't it was a show. His, no, but I've seen dark skin no, family but that's members. what I'm saying. But what I'm saying, ultimately, you can't really go off for features because, like, that child could look like her mom or, like, you know what I'm saying? Nah, his definitely. mom. Mm-hmm. Sometimes those things happen. So you can't necessarily... And you just had the baby. Like, let the baby grow up to see. No, the baby's like, eight, eight years old. Eight years old. Nah, and you if still he, questioning Hold on, wait. If he eight years old and this, you know, you black, you know, she black, and the baby, baby look Asian. <laughs> it's something right. looking. No, no, he looked a little mm-hmm. like it looked like you know she was dealing with a Puerto Rican mm-hmm. something else. You know, I could understand that because I do understand what you said with waiting. Because I promise y'all, when I was born, mm-hmm. I looked one hundred percent like this kid Spanish. Mm-hmm. My dad was like, "Yo, what is going <laughs> what on? What the fuck is going on?" Is she, is, I was a is, little lighter than Porter. Mm-hmm. The curly top. Everything, I bro. I would have never believed you That's had a curly yo, top. Yo, yo, watch watch, watch him out, yo, Wally. Yo, curly top, everything. <laughs> My dad definitely was like, yo, what's, what's, what is this? Did he get the test? On? Nah, he didn't do that. Right, well. and, and I ended up turning into a clone of him. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Like, you know, but in the beginning, man, that shit was, I, I, even me, I look at that and would have been like, yo. I just feel like you're halfway through the bid anyway. You didn't did eight eight years. Mm-hmm. So if you do the whole eighteen, remember Kanye said you did eighteen years, find out the kid wasn't his. Uh you're halfway through now. So it's like, I know you got a relationship with this kid. You know what I mean? I know you got, you know, so I will mention that. But as far as the the, the results, you should have been to that. I think that's mm-hmm. the proper thing to do when you unsure and 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 curious about a situation like that if you're ever in that situation. Like, if you know you want to make sure that this is your real blood next to Ken before you start going all out right. above and beyond for this child, you know what I'm saying? Like, that shit get but done from the You river. probably don't question yeah. it right away. Not to cut you all off. When you get a baby, you're like, babies, all babies don't look like shit when they first born. They all look like <laughs> this. They all look alike. They all, yeah, they all look alike. So I'm sure it took a while. But by the time, I guess, three... My motherfucker probably was looking like, yo, he's no, no, no. But, 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 no, but, but you're Richie. right. It's some truth in that that kids do develop. They can develop at like seven, start looking like their right. mom or but their he dad. But he didn't say like that the son mm. didn't look like the mom. No, he's questioning him. The son looks like, like him. Him, but right. the, at the end of the day, I'm gonna use Richie for an example. Mm. Like his son, his youngest son. 
don't look like Richie. Mm-hmm. His youngest son looks just like his mother. Like, mm-hmm. if you seen his son's mom and you seen Kay and you look, that's that's his I disagree. Twin. I disagree. Kay didn't mm-hmm. do nothing. Yo, one hundred percent. He Get looked better. Not only does he look like, it, not Dad's only, no, yo, 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 listen, listen, listen. Yo, send us listen. a picture. We not only, no, no, no. <laughs> not only does he look like, no, no. Not only does he look like Porter, he has Porter Riches. Like, yo, sometimes when something is said and K reacts to it, it makes me Facial laugh. Expression. I even pointed it out to you the last time we was all yeah, together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It make me laugh because he turns. And makes the exact same face. It's like that shit happens. Turns into Porter, and the shit be hilarious to me. You know Bro, what I'm saying? I, I, so I see, I see him and in and, him. and look like, and rest in peace, mm-hmm. rest in peace to my babe mom, lover, lover to death. Mm-hmm. Uh, but in my situation with my son, it was a similar situation where, like, you know, um, she just ended up giving birth, and then she thought that you know, because it was it was like a similar time where her ex, the last guy, and then when I came in, so. It was like a little thing about uncertainty, you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, and okay. and me as a man, like that's why I said what I said and gave my answer. Because me as a man, that was the first thing I wanted to do. Like, yo, I don't have an issue once you come to me and saying, hey, I think I have a baby by you. Right. But the first thing I want to do, if there's any reason, that's what I'm saying right. in this case. In this case, I just feel like if you only saying that, bro... Because he's not looks. looking like you, yeah. then that's kind of like a little weird. And I guess you got to yeah. probably right, check right, right. that. Because if everything Slice else been solid in them eight years, <laughs> yeah. and you know you was the only one pumping, and she never really gave you no You reason. never know if you're the only one pumping. Like, let's, like, fuck it. Uh, I'll cut you off. Uh, uh, Every show, Herb, before yeah, you go yeah, down, yeah. every fucking show is... You are not the father, and the motherfucker start pop locking and shit, yeah, and yeah, the chick yeah, face yeah, yeah, and yeah, yeah. all that. Like, <laughs> yeah. no, that means that means no matter how much we believe our woman. It's only fucking us, mm-hmm. and that is no way that this is not my child. Mm-hmm. Every day this happens a million Listen, times. That's, 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 that's true. Happened. That's true that we'll never know. But you need. I kind of feel like we kind of like need reason though to suspect. Right, mm-hmm. right. Mm-hmm. And we shouldn't just be suspecting from nothing. This little motherfucker looks like GB. So, 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 <laughs> bitch, what the fuck is so, going so, on? So now, so look, in certain cases, I've seen some ridiculous cases where a dude is dealing with like a white woman, a Hispanic woman. And then he's wondering why his kid don't look just like him. Mm-hmm. They're lighter. They're whatever. It's like, dog, you got a white yeah, girl. Like, I mean, what is like, like, come yeah, on. That's the not, not like, like, now I do understand how it starts with like my dad and my mom. Mm-hmm. And both of them brown skin. And I came out a certain High way. Yellow. You know what I'm saying? He got the nappy top. And then I came out. The nappy yeah, top. Yeah, I came out. I came shit. out like this shit was crazy. Yeah. You feel me? But then... You know, Wally's still laughing. No, she don't believe that shit ever occurred. Yeah, we gonna put we gonna put a picture up <laughs> no, on this episode. To. No, no, no. no. A, I, but I believe it. Yeah. I be seeing it. I believe yeah. it. I see it. Like I know one of my like he like a nephew to me now, and his daughter is like he brown skin like like y'all, and his daughter got green mm. eyes and blonde hair. Oh mm. shit! And she white as Wally. I, I got. Two, I, got <laughs> I got. I got two points. I got two points right. to his um to his thing. Number one, I think. He's questioning his, I think, his girl, too, at this point. I mean, is she Asian? No, man. Oh, she right. black. I mean, she sound like she some young, Asian? she sound like some young hoe. <laughs> <laughs> that's actually, that's so, actually good. So, some young There we go. So, yo, yo, two, yo, that might be the name of the episode. Guys. So, so, some so, young hoe. Number two, this further, this, this further, right, oh lets me know that my idea is a good idea. Right, I'm starting an abortion clinic. Right, uh. I'm starting my own abortion clinic. It's gonna be called Break Babies. Right, so any nigga, right? Because what happens is all niggas out there. If you ever went on a break with your girl and then y'all got back together and you had a baby, I feel like all, every nigga should question whether that baby is there. I think this is a bad idea. Like when I wanted to make a overnight, uh, like. A overnight babysitter's place because I thought I could make mad John and it was called Kidnappers. But it was that's like horrible. But it was like it was like kids go there, they take a nap, nap. and then you go to the club. Yeah, you know I mean, yeah, but, but the name, yeah, so so between them, yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> nah, <laughs> break, 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 babies, babies, it might not be their thing but no break more. Babies, break babies is a good name because no. we, we really break babies. What? And, the, yo, <laughs> yo, listen, this is yo, my nigga. It, <laughs> what the baby. fuck? How do y'all break babies? No, it's an abortion clinic. Yeah, don't ask. It's an abortion clinic. Do not ask this motherfucking question. But you're saying y'all as in what? Men? 
No, no I'm, I'm starting my somebody. I'm starting my okay. Okay. facility. Yeah, the, okay, yeah, fuck fuck when they go in there with the coat hangers or whatever. Or go, not, oh my let god. me go to the next point that he said. Oh okay. my god. If he does get the heart to fucking find out whether or not this kid is his or not, mm -hmm. after eight years he said FTK. He's fuck that fuck, kid. Fuck that kid. That's kind of wild though. That's fucked up. That's kind of wild though. And I know like sometimes like the people that might comment on the show or whatever like that will agree with certain stuff like that. But I think they not in that situation. I think it take a certain kind of individual to be around any human being that mm -hmm. they've invested their time in for uh, eight years, eight years a long and time. just walk away. Like, yeah, you got duped in the situation, but what's your morals or integrity or how, like what kind of person are you? I might be like, yeah, I don't fuck with your mom, this, that, and the case. I got duped, but now we here, and mm -hmm. this is a relationship we got. I'm not going you know, punish the kid based off of that. It's, it's, it's going to change. Fault. Yeah, it's going to yeah. change a lot of shit. It's going to change, change a lot, a lot of, shit. of shit. But the instant thing of like, niggas can't, if a person could turn shit off like that, yo, in a way to me, you kind of a sociopath. But, yo, but, you took the words right yeah, out of like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you But, got, I, but I, I respect speak. anger. I respect, hold on, I respect at this very moment, he could be very angry. He could be feeling like, like somewhere is deeper that he feel like this not he his could, kid. I'm talking he about the could. person that does. No, it, no, right? I know. I'm with you. I'm with he you. He could so be I'm saying... angry, but like you can't be angry at the child because like the child wasn't asked to be brought into this world. You invested that time, that time unknowingly mm -hmm. that that's not your child. But I have a question on top of his question, right? Mm -hmm. So say if he did get the results, right? Mm -hmm. We're creating our own scenario, which we do from time to time. <laughs> yes, we do. So um, <laughs> say if he does get the results back and the child is not his, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. What do we think he should do? I think he should leave. Yeah. Because but I, what is, so, so, all right, hold on. Two, go all ahead. Right. What do we think he should do? And should he tell that child that he is not the father? No, I think that that's the mother's responsibility to do that. I do think that he should sit down and have a conversation because I feel like at eight years old, that little boy's not going to understand. But I do feel like he should leave her because no, second thing is it's going to drive him crazy and then he's going to drive her crazy. Right. So I do think that he should leave. I've actually, speaking from experience, I've been in this situation on both sides. I actually uh, did mess with somebody and found out that the child wasn't mine. Mm -hmm. And I had been around a little boy for quite some time. So what happens was you don't stop fucking with the kid. But over time... You do. You, over time, y'all distance yourself. Because what's going to happen is the little boy going to start spending time with his real dad. Once he finds out who his real dad is, you're not necessarily going to have a place in in, in that, that scenario. That's, that's in real. eight years, though, that's yeah, real. No. it's going to be hard for him to create like a new bond with someone new where he over every time. day. No, no. He got a no. lifetime. Nah, though. you got to understand, too. Oh, well, over time, yes. But I'm just saying in that moment. Because, like, now, no. because now it's different because now he's not seeing me every day. Yeah. I'm, not, I'm out of the house now. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm, I'm going to tell different. you it gets deeper than that, right? If you with somebody, right? And let's say the dad died. Let's say the other dude is dead. Like, he don't even exist. When you move move on, now this woman can't explain to the next man that she's with. Mm -hmm. If he comes in and he's stepdad, how you got an old stepdad type of figure, it can't work. I've actually been in this before. You know what I'm saying? When I was like 27 years old. Me and my girl broke up. She already had two kids. I'm around them forever. And mm -hmm. then it was one of those things where it was like, how does she move forward if I'm still coming, to the picking crib. them up, doing all of this stuff? Yeah. But it's like, we not together. We not going to be together. And you're we not, not going to be not together. And you're not their dad. And you not because when they get with the next person, they're like, well, this is just my, my ex-boyfriend who helped with raising them. And he's going to be involved. Yeah. Your new no dude not trying that's to hear kinda, that shit. But, but that's, it's not but that's, help raising but, them. It's like if you you went into it as a father, so it's not like you help you legit like. But but you're but, not their father. But it's I it's mean, well, I, I mean it's it's on paper. It's crazy because it really like to me it depends on people. And I'm glad you said that though, Dad, because that goes back to what kind of like y'all was saying earlier when y'all was like, mm. you know, if a person kind of like doesn't like keep the contact with the child or or doesn't like maintain a relationship y'all say something about like a sociopath or something like that if and he I, if he if he just says fuck the kid right yeah, if he's I, able to just walk out that day and be like oh now that i know that you're not my blood fuck i you. instantly don't give a fuck if i, I see fuck. you That's tomorrow right 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 on some instant shit but there are cases like we're talking about now and just the most recent mm -hmm. your most recent piece where 
it it really don't make no sense for you to stay. It, eventually, like you really gotta start working on your out Can I keep and your it exit Can because I- because <laughs> because I just feel like like like. What what Dev said just now, look, you trying to like maintain with the kid that ain't even yours. You mm-hmm. was a step pop the whole time stepping in. And now she's moving forward with more new people. So let me I'm gonna I'm mm-hmm. I'm ask you something. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I'm, so so it was around the time where I like first got with my girl that I'm with now. I got a uh I got a Facebook message mm-hmm. from my ex-girl's daughter. Fuck Facebook. And now she's grown. She's 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 like she was like graduating from high school. She she hit me up talking about what's up, dad. That was the message. Oh, that shit. was the message. It was, but I knew what it meant. You feel what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. We 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 talked a little bit on there, and I was actually happy because you start wondering during the time period, mm-hmm. like, yo, in the future, will this will, will they remember me? Right. You feel what I'm saying? Stuff like that. So she's like, yo, we talk about you all the time. Still mm. got like old like videos of you and us with Christmas daughter right. type of whatever shit, whatever, right? Now she asked me, what happened? <laughs> because to mm. them, that's the one part that kids don't get is like one day you there, and that's just a part of like the situation. And they they're they're little, so they're not gonna know the business. It's just that they're gonna ask probably questions like, yo, when is Devin coming home? When is this? Like I can only imagine it in my head. And then she has to explain. Explain or in the beginning, probably like he's staying. So like you know what I'm saying? They're not gonna tell him day one. I just want to say, oh, they definitely gonna lie. I just want you to to. But you gotta understand, see Wally. That's why when y'all be reckless with y'all pussy, y'all see how y'all fuck the world up. Y'all see how y'all y'all can fuck the world up. You, uh, you, you attacking me. Well, I you, represent represent all women right now. Oh, yeah, yeah, I know, but you, you attacking you me women. like I did it to you. No, you attacking but, the world. But like in they representing all women, <laughs> you gotta represent the hoes too. Right. No, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> I, do, I do gotta represent the hoes, but um, <laughs> I do. I do. I gotta represent, represent all women, okay. all types right. of women. Good, like you the good, bad, you the, the good, ugly, you the good all. girls, and we talk about the hoes right now. Right. So, no, but I understand, and um. But we can say the same for you. Like, when y'all have kids with other women, mm-hmm. it's the same thing. Like, mm-hmm. you know, these situations talk happen. That, and at the end of the day, those moms that have to explain to their kids that their dad ain't going to be in their lives because they have a whole other family. That mm-hmm. happens a lot. So, look. Let me go. Let me go. Let me go. Like, especially with people with, especially men with money that have women, um, that impregnate women out of wedlock. That happens so much, so often. Wetlock, what's wetlock? Oh no, no, you stupid. <laughs> no, so but no, but Pete, I think that my ex girl was kind of like a little bit sharp in understanding that early in the game. Mm-hmm. That now that I was stepping off, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? I'm stepping off. I wasn't even really thinking about the fact that oh shit, I'm not going. Yeah, you know I mean, mm-hmm. see them. So I remember like a conversation, like when I called, like she was talking. And said for the first time, she was just like, she said something, 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 my kids is this and that. Mm-hmm. But you, I never heard that term. The term was just the kid. The kid. The right. kids, it, right? It changed. And I remember it being a light bulb, like, oh shit. Cause it was like a me sliding through to pick mm-hmm. him up, grab him, you know what I'm saying? So when that happened, I remember that being like an alert. Niggas do shit and then they get like, niggas, niggas do shit in the moment and then niggas will try to come back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? When I tried to like slide back, mm-hmm. she knew that mentally it was already checked out. Was Something different. was broken there. All that was going to happen when we was just going to go through that all over yeah. again. I think she was sharp enough to be like, nah, and you know what? I'm going to have to make it where nah, you can't come and scoop them up. Right. You can't do you that. Co- you complicated you, shit. And, yeah. and, and it, was, it was actually in that case, man. Mm. It was the right thing to do, but during the time, it that yeah. shit felt... Insane! So, it felt crazy. So let me say. So let me. So let me say real quick because this kind of speaks to my life in in a certain way with uh with my son. Mm-hmm. Like I have a son that I found out later was my son. Mm-hmm. I got. But you was but, out here GB. when growing up. Yeah, I, I've been fucking. So <laughs> so later later on down the line, uh, he thought that somebody else was his dad, mm. right? And this um. They were like engaged or or something like that, and she didn't really like know my name. She didn't like she didn't know how to find me, like get in touch with me, the whole thing. But the dude, he kind of 
was like feeling like my son looks just like me. Like just like me. There's no way that like nobody could mistake like he looks exactly like me. So he wound up they wound up breaking up or whatever because he found out that my son wasn't his son. And this like a similar it's like a similar situation. Similar. So it was like through Facebook, like she kind of put the puzzle together and 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 found me. And as and from the time that I that I met him, I couldn't even like you know I'm in his life like that's my son like you know what I mean so I couldn't even fathom for real him like going to stay with the dude that he thought was his dad. You know what I'm saying? Like I couldn't even I couldn't even imagine him mm-hmm. saying like yeah dad I'm about to go uh I'm about to go spend the weekend with over Mr. Rob House. So it's like once you, that's why I say that over time, once that real parent steps in to yeah. the child's life, that other person naturally fades, like kind of gets fades, exiled. Yeah, a little you kind of, yeah. yeah, it's, it's kind of fucked up though. Let me ask this because we ask, would he, um, that's real. Should he stay, right? No, mm-hmm. uh, that is real. But in, mm-hmm. in, in this thing, he started off because obviously he wants to stay by mm-hmm. communicating how perfect the relationship is. Right. Right. Mm-hmm. He communicated we're happy, it's perfect. Da, da, da. So that means like, he doesn't want to leave and he's praying that this is his kid, right? I think it's going to determine how much he's able to get past the deception. Right. You know some, what I mean? He has to understand that at some point in time, she she cheated on him. Or, I don't know if it was a break, I didn't ask how it happened, but yeah. some, you know what I'm saying? But some kind of way. And that's if that's the case. It's going to go back to the foundation of how did this baby come about? Mm-hmm. If... If he's able to forgive like GB does all the time with these hoes, <laughs> <laughs> hey yo! But if he's able to forgive, I only this, forgive because they don't, they don't, they don't suck like this. <laughs> we gonna start calling you FGB, <laughs> forgiver boy. <laughs> if yo, that's kind of wild because you know what happened then when they was hitting. You know how you always ask him like, yo, where you want me to bust? <laughs> 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 she said she didn't. She she decided to not go for the mouth, and that's how she got pregnant. Yeah, yeah. it can happen. I mean, I just, I mean, I just. So I'm the just, end result of them not sucking their dicks is they pregnant. I mean, at least they left it in there. You know what I mean? Oh my god! Like, at least, like, at least, at least they let all of it get in there. I, I, I'm leaving. I don't fuck all, all that shit I'm saying. I can't handle it. My heart. I'm. I'm a sucker. I can't take. I can't take you. Bitch, you cheat on me. I'm out. I'm what? gonna cry. I'm gonna go inside my room. I'm gonna put on the Osley Brothers for Which fucking y'all call thirteen days straight. When you go to the room, the, the dark, dark room. The, the dark room. I'm gonna go yeah. to the dark. I'm gonna go to the dark room. Not that I won't love this kid, but our relationship is inst- from the day that I find out that it's kid's over. not mine. It's over. We have a whole new dynamic of relationships. I just love this yeah. other nigga kid. What? What? Only thing that I want to say about this whole scenario with with this kid, and we hope we helped you out because we. We try to help people. We just don't. It's, it's <laughs> no, no, no. I, I, but, yeah, we, but we, we actually think this is the most we ever yeah, actually yeah, helped yeah, somebody. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah. we, but we, we do good. strive and aim to help. But I do work with you know I have been working with kids for the past over a decade, and I think when we just have a discussion about kids, like it just you know touch a certain place with me where I like want to just mention like yo these kids is not like mm-hmm. bargaining chips, man. These kids is not like. We got to remove these children from these situations where, like, the children end up getting the shitty end of the stick regardless of which way it go for the adults. You know what I mean? Because a lot of these situations truly pan out fucked up for the kids. You know what I mean? A kid got to go through life mm-hmm. trying to figure all this confusion out from grown folks who bored them here. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Think, As I we think... wrap up this half, I, I, I want to know from a woman's uh, perception, what? what you think you should do? I I mean at this point you already if You he, want my you want my honest God truth. That's yes, all we want to talk heavy. I, I wanna know which out my all right, so you can answer his question, but my I'm gonna answer a second part of that question. What does he do if he find out that baby ain't his? All right, so what should he do and what should he do if he finds out the baby right. ain't his the in this all? Personally, if I was you, I wouldn't even go look at the results. That's me personally. If there's nothing wrong with your family, if there's nothing wrong, <laughs> if there's that just showing me that he, he's, this nigga looked like me when he was a baby. Yo, it's probably <laughs> wrong. He like but, he talking um, shit too. <laughs> but um, yeah. If if it was me personally, I if nothing was wrong with my relationship, if nothing was wrong, if everything was good, and you're just going off of what the child looks like, I wouldn't even 
I wouldn't even look at those results. Yeah. Cause look like, at personally. Look, look at but, Dev. Yeah. Dev looked like Michael Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> Dev looked like. The fuck. Listen, but it I'm was gonna him. bring my baby picture because Dev borderline looked like me. Shit, goddamn. Yeah. I bet you um, we we brought every baby picture and they all gonna look like that same fucking nah, baby. <laughs> all babies look the same. That's not the nursery. Listen, man. But if like the question um, that GB said, if the baby is not his, I think number one, him and his. Girls should have the conversation with the child. It shouldn't be the woman's responsibility. Should he, and the should reason, leave? I don't think you should leave personally. And this is just me. You, you're in a happy home. This is just me personally. Mm-hmm. You're in a happy home. You're in a happy situation. When you start move, it's so many moving parts to those situations because, like Rich said, kids get the shitty end of the stick. It might traumatize that child in that moment. I just don't. Unless you can't bear with it, and he already did have to be. Like I said, hold on, hold on, but it's not about it's not just about the kid. It's not just about the kid. It's the fact that when a person lies to you, that's what it is. When a person lies to you, you start looking at him like, what else? If you're able to do a lie of this magnitude, Mm -hmm. what other lies you got? What about she didn't lie? Maybe she just didn't think that like. That happened. Oh, you know shit. what I'm saying? See, right. that's that's God right there. Look, <laughs> no, no, the God, God snatched her that's earrings God. like God. <laughs> like, yo, tell the fucking truth. <laughs> no, but seriously, like if you if you think, if you think in your right mind, right? If maybe, all right, say if she did lie. All right. Clearly, she did. she did. But what about she didn't know? Because there's there's instances where you she know. No, 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 no. She I'm knows a, she fucked another nigga. No, 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 what about she did? No. First off, she knows she fucked another nigga, right? Mm-hmm, that's and the minute that he started asking those questions and she could see that there was like a look mm-hmm. issue, it crossed her mind and she never said, I need to talk to you about something. We should get a test because I Thank was you. with Ralph. Thank right. you. I was with Johnny, whoever. She didn't do that even after he brought up his concerns. She just got an attitude with him. Mm. Nothing is worse than... Finding out what you thought was real and the person was having an attitude with you the whole time, like to make you, you think that yeah, you was tripping. Like you tripping. Like you you tripping. He's writing in because he feel like I might be tripping, y'all. Help me. What should I do? When you find out you was right the whole time, it's really like you that's dumb bitch. Know, that's how I but know he, he going to leave. Thing, but this is the thing, though. I don't. I don't think he. I mean, like I said, if he leaves, that's on him. Um. But I think there's a bigger picture here, like Richie said, you know, when it comes to kids and you've been in there for eight years in that life from the beginning, from her, I'm pretty sure he was in the room while she was giving birth. Like, you're in the whole scenario. You're probably in all the baby shower pictures. You're legit in this child's life. So should he just fuck bitches? No, absolutely not. Unless should he just be with her? Like, I'm going to be with the kid, but just know I'm going to fuck these bitches. Nah, and I'm with that. And then listen, I'm going to fuck you. (laughs) No, no, I'm 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 with you on not getting the test. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I might not even go, but I'm with Dev. If I find out you, yeah, I'm fucking. If I find out, so it's like, yo, I'm gonna be around because I don't want to do that to our son. But not only are you not gonna fuck new niggas, tic tac toe. Not only is you not gonna fuck new niggas, but I'm fucking bitches. I got a pass. Don't he? Don't he get a pass? I get a pass. Fucked another nigga and got a baby on me, and I can't go fuck another. Let's put it in retrospect, right? That ain't gonna work anyway. That ain't gonna work because the kid gonna be like, the fuck is going on here? Right. Now, now you like Macadocia. You ain't gonna turn to the top of gold. It's a lot of moving parts. You didn't have my dad no more. She, she got all the fucking moving parts. She no, the one she moving don't. her pussy all over the fucking <laughs> thing. That's, that's, that's us assuming. That's an assumption. Yeah, based that is. Off that of, is. Based off of what he feels as though the child should it's look the looks, like. It's the and looks. at the end of the day, the child don't gotta look exactly like you. But what if we don't know? What if he white, she white, and the baby black? Nah, that would be automatic. He yeah, already know. Look at Dad's yeah. picture. Dad <laughs> yeah, like a white Look at Dad's Asian picture. Dad. Yeah. Dad yeah. Every baby look Asian. like Dad is a baby. Dad, Dad is oh. brown skin and his mom is I brown skin. Yeah. I don't care. I pull up 97 babies. I, look, Kier got a new little brother. Put that picture up. That look like your little brother on it. All the fucking babies got to look the same, man. <laughs> all the aborted nah. babies look the same, too. They all blue. <laughs> oh, hey, yo, bro, I'm that's it. That's it in the first half. <laughs> <laughs> what is wrong with him? <laughs> yo, yo, bro. <laughs> yo, yo, bro, what the fuck? Is you know they really blue. Blue. No, no, what is wrong? Like, I love my channel. I love my channel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, playing Parenthood can't be on my ass. They the murderers. What they, the- they- 
Welcome to the second half of the, the Talk Heavy Podcast. Hey, we pot in the day, man. In the yeah. off season of the Devin Wade show. Yeah, make, make sure y'all go subscribe to the Talk Heavy channel as well, please. Because if not, we're not going, you know, we're not going. Uh, I had to negotiate getting Wally and Porter. Y'all listen, if y'all yeah. let me get kidnapped again, <laughs> I'm letting y'all know when I get the fuck out, before they get me again, I'm going to get one of y'all. And, uh, especially if y'all in the chat. Y'all in the and, chat, come on, man. And the longer that y'all leave us on this shit, the more chance of dev shit getting canceled. <laughs> <That's cool. laughs> For real. Oh, guys. oh, my God. Blue babies. Can we go? Oh, my God. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm going to try to paraphrase this because me being clumsy, I kind of deleted it, but mm. I'm going to try to try to say this in the best way. So I had a, a guy submit in, right? I, first of all, before we get, I respect this motherfucker, right? Mm-hmm. He in his neighborhood, right? Mm-hmm. He watching a couple get into a fight outside. The guy is beating up the girl. Mm-hmm. He said he tried to intervene. Dude told him mind his fucking business, oh. right? He says he wanted to do more, but he was afraid. He kept it real. He said, so, you know, the fight happened. He, the, the girl got beat up kind of bad. Punches, though. Not, nothing major, but... He, he, he said it, it kind of hurt him. He felt helpless. He felt afraid. He wanted to help, but he couldn't, right? So me and this person had a little dialogue. And um, I told him, you know, it's, it, it's a touchy situation because sometimes you get in it and the next thing, you know, you're getting rolled on by the man and the girl. Or shot. Or shot or mm-hmm. all type of stuff. So I wanted to discuss in situations like that, right? Even when a man is afraid, what is he supposed to do? Or is he supposed to step in and help? Or how do we deal when we're watching these domestic situations <clears throat> from the outside looking first, in? So for, first, I just want to say that I don't think, like, you know, and, and I, uh, I don't know if he's, if, I think he said that probably, like, how he's seen it. But I don't think, like, a man punching on a woman, period, I don't think it's, like, like minor. You know yeah, what I don't think so. Yeah. Like, I don't think that's, like, minor. I think that's, like, you know what I mean? Now, are there scenarios where I feel as though, and this is why I kind of like say, I don't know, it's hard, it's difficult. I want to say, I want to say mind your business, right? Because, and the only reason I want to say mind your business is because I've heard of scenarios, Mm -hmm. right? Like, it's hard, it's crazy, man. It's hard because we'll say men ain't, because I believe in this firmly, I believe in this wholeheartedly, men shouldn't put their hands on women, right? Mm -hmm. But then I know about situations where women have done like the ultimate shit, like the ultimate disrespectful shit. Mm-hmm. You didn't, you didn't slept with a nigga brother. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? You didn't, you didn't, and you with this nigga. You know what I mean? Or the nigga best friend. You didn't fuck the nigga best friend. But that mm-hmm. mean you no, you still I don't say. Uh-huh. I'm not saying it justifies that, it but at the same time, you though, you gotta, that. you gotta realize that people human. Yeah, we got women. Passion. We got we, and we talked about this before. Mm-hmm. We got women out here that kill niggas. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. No, that's a fact. Smoke niggas because mm-hmm. niggas playing with they with their heart. And women playing with people with love and playing with people's lives. Yeah, that's 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 a big that's a big play out. That's a big when you invest when you invest your time. In the building a home, your work is everything you do at your That's job. Right. Everything you've done is to build this but house. But that doesn't give anybody the right, right. No, to get to take do- someone's life. It no, do- it doesn't. Because no, it no, it doesn't. Your Nobody life says that. We would it never. You would, hold on, wait, 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 wait. I want to be clear yeah. because repeat what you said, so I can make sure that. We could rewind, and no one ever says something about taking somebody's life. Doesn't no. Make right. I said what I'm saying is is that. Any crime, any situation like that doesn't give a person the right to take away someone's life. Absolutely. Right, you're correct. But what right. I'm saying is in all regards, mm-hmm. most nothing anybody does gives any person the right to punch them in the face. Right. If you Even nigga on nigga. Mm-hmm. But it happens, right? Right. That a person disrespected you to the point where a nigga's yeah. like, yo, he punched him in his fucking face. Now, r- when it comes to right is right. You really not supposed to hit nobody that didn't hit you. Ever. Right. But we do know that when you playing around with a situation where it's like, I motherfucking bust my ass at my job. I do this. I do that. I do this. I do that. And on top of on all the people that you could go around and fuck, you fuck my brother. Even just me walking away from this, I lose my kids because they don't live with me no more. All of that type of shit. Like when people say, oh, you could just leave. You still changed my relationship with my, my kid life. because the only choice that I got is because you're not going to let me take them. So now what th- what happens is I either got to be around my kids every day. I got to accept what you did. But if I leave, now I get them every two weeks on a weekend because you and you fuck my brother. 
And what I'm saying, what he's saying is, in these passionate moments, the man did whatever he did, right? Mm -hmm. So you don't know what you're walking into as a man. Like if you that dude, if you that dude, if you that dude, you don't know what the brother going through. You might be thinking some niggas is just thinking he's a coward. So he went over there like, no, this dude might have never punched a woman in his life. He just going through something so crazy right now. Now you done caught the smoke because you done caught him on the worst day, day of his, of life, his yeah. life. Now you ain't going home to your kids. It, right. So, Possibly. And, yeah. Possibly. and not, yeah. not only that, but I just, and I don't want to make this about like our women because we love our women, right? We don't know what exactly was going on in this scenario, mm -hmm. right? right? Hopefully. And he don't know you. Right. Hopefully everything was good. But I just know, and the only reason why I'm sticking so much to like mind your business is because like, you know, like I like like I said, like you know, you got women that kind of like talk like this, like they almost and and, and while you can speak on this if you want, just as far as like you know how not maybe not you, but some women, the first thing women say when like they want to kind of like get back at a nigga for whatever the case was, something a nigga may have did a lot of times because I've heard women say it like yo, I've heard it in music, like you fuck his best friend. You, you know, and shit like that. And I just feel like in certain situations, like if a guy don't, if a guy like, cause it's certain regular shit that happens in relationships. Like we just not getting along. We just not hitting it off. Uh, even, even when you step outside of a relationship, I think there's ways to do that. If you're going to do it. I think there's certain shit that's way worse than like normally stepping out. If you step out, let's say shit wasn't working out with me and her, and she step out and date a stranger. No, right. put, it, Somebody but this, put it right. Put it but right. you, you have you have a point. But in this instance, and this is why you know this is a touchy situation because I feel like a lot of things be missed. That was me, Dev. Oh, okay. A lot of things be missed. A lot. He's always on alert, but a lot of things be missed, and. We wake up the next day and this woman's not alive anymore. When we had an opportunity to help, to help, correct. You well, get what I'm saying? Can I? But, can I? But can hold I, on. I, I, as soon as you're you done, as soon as you're done, I'm gonna as piggyback a, as on it. As a bystander, you can you see something going on. You can evaluate the situation because you're not in it. So your mind at that moment, you're not in that in that space he's in mm -hmm. in that moment. So you can evaluate your surroundings, his surroundings. You could kind of see essentially if he has something. You Whatever cannot. You can no, say. you can't. No, you can't. I mean, no, you can't. You can essentially, if you're a boss, if it's you're tough, there, though. it is tough. But you at the same cannot time, tell a nigga got a ratchet on him. Sometimes you can't. Like, 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 no, no, you can't. If he's tussling with a woman mm -hmm. and he's moving around or they doing whatever, at some point you're gonna see something. So listen. And if he's maybe. tussling, maybe. maybe. But yeah. in all, in retrospect, if you don't want to break him up, call the cops. That's an option too. I don't care if they going to think you're nah, a that's rat. Right. Yeah, or fuck all that. Fuck all that. Fuck all that. If yep. you don't want to in, insert yourself, I would recommend you to call a police officer because if you just don't do anything, either parties, either parties, because it could be the woman, you know, being aggressive with the guy. He don't want to touch, you know, the woman. It could be either party. But... Either way, if you don't want to insert yourself, i just rather you just call the police at that point. And in retrospect to what you're saying, you said that they could wake up the next morning and be dead. I can tell you what traditionally happens, though. They wake up the next morning and they back together. Watching oh, no, Netflix. So, watch Netflix. Yeah. And, and watch Netflix. So, mm, and, um, another great I point. Had this, I had this happen. Um, I was at, I was in Hunting Park. I was at a gas station on Broad Street, right? Getting gas. I get out, boy, beating shit out of this girl, right? So... The thing about, I'm, I'm looking at this shit, I'm trying to ignore it. I can't ignore it, though. It's like he's right, fucking her up. I don't, I'm trying to figure out in my mind, how do I approach? Because I'm like, yo, I don't, I can't tell if this nigga's strap. I don't know what's going to happen. I went to walk over there to just to try to break it up. The woman told me to mind my business. Mm. She was the one was like, nah, nah, like, no, nah, stay out of it. Mind your fucking business. Mm. Blah, 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 blah. So I, I, I threw my hands up. I went yeah. and minded my fucking business. So in certain situations, I know how I felt internally. Like, like he said he was mm -hmm. scared. I know that internally I was afraid because I'm like, yo, if I walk over here, I don't know if this nigga strapped. I don't know what he got. Mm -hmm. I don't know if he going to have to do something to me or I'm going to have to do something to him to protect myself. And no. this is a situation that ain't got that nothing to do with I'm, me. I'm going to tell, I'm gonna tell <sighs> you like with me, right? So I understand all the variables. Like one, I believe, I just disagree. I believe you can't tell if a nigga got a pistol on him. I come from from environments with like domestic abuse and all that type of shit. So I'm just completely not with it, right? This is me. This is not something I recommend for any other person. 
I'm going to insert myself. The way that I feel as though, you know, you, if you was going to insert yourself, it got to almost be from the perspective of you trying to protect the man from himself. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Bro, mm-hmm. the police is on his way. Absolutely. You need to mother... Bro, listen. Mm-hmm. You need to go to that person on some shit like, right, right, right. my nigga, you about to be locked the fuck up. Because I'm telling you, if you just leave the situation alone... Yes, most of the time they back together the next day. Right. Mm-hmm. But in an extreme situation right. where that person nobody inter, you know interjected, it could go it could Either go way. left. Mm-hmm. Just recently, just recently in Philadelphia, and this this is the Philadelphia area. These dudes is from Philadelphia. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. A whole train watched a dude rape a woman. Yep. yep. Nobody jumped in it. Nobody. Everybody Back. minded their business. Watched a nigga rape a woman. I can't watch that. I wouldn't know. Nobody that. jumped in. Everybody on my name business. You either thinking, my name business. I don't know what bull got. This is such a bold act. He might got a burner Man, on it. Scared. Niggas is thinking anything. Some niggas is like, I ain't no rat. Dumb shit. Mm-hmm. Me personally, bro, and any person that know me, I will interject myself. And I do understand at the end of the day that something could happen to me when I do that. But people talk every day about like, yo, I stand on this and I'll die for what I believe in. Mm -hmm. Well, in this case, it's the same for me. You need to die. If that's how I was going to go out, it ain't that bad to me. Mm -hmm. I went out doing something that was noble. That's just me Mm -hmm. personally. Mm -hmm. That's just me personally. Let me me say something. Because I'm I'm also a person who would insert themselves. I have done it a couple Mm -hmm. times. But I can honestly say it happened at my football field with a couple of people. I inserted myself more aggressively because I felt like I could take the guy. So I grip him up. Mm -hmm. I'm like, bro, bro, chill. And you get to get the fucks off me and all that other shit. But here, I'm the bigger man. You know what I'm saying? I've inserted myself, but niggas say, yo, get the fuck off me. And I knew that I didn't want that smoke either. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So then I'm I'm like, Dev, I'm like, bro, all you're going to do is get locked up. I'm trying to hit him with the chill shit. Mm. But if this nigga wants to continue whipping her ass, it was no stopping Debo. And I feel like you know what in, in, that that instance, in that instance too, though, mm-hmm. I also be feeling like you, you gripped the boy up, right? right? You got him refrained and the girl don't leave. Yeah, that can happen. Yeah. I she like, don't leave. She stayed I'm there. I'm going to keep it real. If I get the grip from behind, you sleep. I still like... Whether I like, you're Debo I, or not. I like <laughs> Debo. <laughs> you choke your mom out, choke your pops out. <laughs> yeah, whether it's Debo or not. I like that Dev mentioned that approach because you definitely got to come as Captain Saver, bro, versus Captain mm, Saver. That's Hull. hard. That's heavy. Yeah. Because when you interject yourself in some shit like that, and you just coming like you coming to save the broad. You like yeah, yeah. the heroic. It make him more like, mad. Yo, yo, it make him more mad. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because, because you don't know what's going on. Right. You don't yeah. know the history of it. And she could really be in a situation where she probably crossed him in some type of way. Not saying that mm-hmm. that justifies right, right. for her to get, you know, hands put on her. You know what I mean? So it's a difficult situation in that shit. But I, I, I get what that's saying. Can we stop saying that it's, it's a scenario where the woman did something no, wrong? But what, no, 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 no. Men that legit like the you, wait, but what I'm that, saying, but, but what oh, I'm saying is, you don't know what you're walking into. If the man's in no, rage, right, but in, for I'm, what I'm saying is, y'all examples are the always, example no, no, of because you got doing something wrong. The reason why is you gotta put a worst case scenario on what you're walking into. Yeah, yeah if, but the worst case scenario could be him just no, wanting to whip her ass. No, and that's worst what he case does. scenario, he could be drunk and he can be. That's true. You know, because that Kyle happens. I'm gonna tell you. Let me ask you a question. I mean, hold on, hold on. I want to be clear on this so that it's not. Be like we're trying to make this like that. In your mind, worst case scenario, abusive nigga beating a woman up about nothing or beating her up because he found out she was cheating on him. When the when the dude interjects and a nigga feel in his heart, whatever it is, I'm righteous in what I'm doing. You're walking into a totally different mindset. It's saying for your safety, when you step in and you don't know what the drama is, let's not make it about women then, just to be fair then. You see niggas running down on a nigga. You don't know what that nigga did. Mm -hmm. We just watched the situation some years back. We found out it was mistaken identity. Mm -hmm. We watched a whole bunch of people run up and stab a young Spanish boy. Mm-hmm. Everybody I know that was Spanish community for sure was going crazy. Melt all them niggas. Mm-hmm. Melt all of them. Remember that? Right. Kill all them niggas. But what people don't know is what if that was reversed and the reason why they was doing something so brazen 
was they thought that that person raped, raped somebody, mind. raped my sister. Mm -hmm. I'm going to tell you right now, if my mindset is on that, mm -hmm. And you interject. You right. going down to right I, because not, you don't I'm know. Not, you you I'm with not him. I'm upset about what the scenario yeah. is. What I'm saying is examples can't just be that. Examples, because no, statistically, domestic abuses yeah. are just coming from a person no, who is. The only reason, only reason, yeah. only reason yeah. I, I went at it, I, and because I started it out like that, and the only reason why I went at it like that is because in this situation, I think in most of these situations, most men. And I get Dev, mm -hmm. what Dev just mentioned, because that's crazy that we're seeing shit like that nowadays. But in a perfect world, and I know back in the day, most men would intervene. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to talk about reasons why you may not see a man intervene. Right. So that's kind of like one, why I wanted to paint like, yo, you never know what actually is going right. on. A in nigga could tell you when you walk up, like, like, my nigga... You don't know what this is about right mind now, nigga. Yeah, mind like when I'm business. trying to tell you, you don't want no smoke with this. And you you don't know this what shit. this is about. Right. This ain't about me just like, I'm a mean nigga and I'm beat. You don't know what the fuck this is about. Right. This bitch just motherfucking emptied my bank account and took 500000 from me. I'll kill you right now, nigga. Fuck off. Mm -hmm. You don't know when you walk into that. You know but, what I mean? But I do but love your saying. point. But I do, mm -hmm. just to get it out, because I wanted to get it out. Mm -hmm. But I do love your point about... And I definitely think it goes back to what Dev said and it's how you approach it and the tactics that you take. But I like your point about, yes, we should be, you know, trying to stop stuff like that. And, and I hate to I'm say it, but it's... That, but this is, but y'all yeah. missing my point. No, I, I just, wasn't telling y'all to stop. To, to, um, but to do something. To that's not, what I was going to no, say, no. to call the cops No, 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 stuff, no that's right? not what I was saying. What I, I'm agreeing with what y'all saying because I even like Dev's approach. You approach, you tell, bro, you know, what I'm saying is the reasoning... The examples that is being created amongst us, mm -hmm. I just didn't like that. It was just something negative from the woman's, like, you know, basically saying oh, yeah, she did something. No, no, that's yeah. It, that's okay, it. no, that's I got what you. I'm saying. That's yeah, what I'm saying. I got you. What we're saying is we got to make sure that when we go in there, it do change the waters in the scenario and the severity. It's actually when you one of the in, only things when, that changes. Yeah, the when right, you right, step right. in and you find out, like, oh, Homie really got a reason behind his meanness, whether he's right, right or wrong. Right, right, right. This is rooted in something. It's a whole nother fight. Holy shit. Now he looking at me like I'm a part of that. Like what he said. Right. She took my money. You trying to defend her. It's like both of y'all took my money. Right, right, You know right. what I'm saying? I like wanna, it's I a lot say, of shit. That's our... why I like that mm. y'all, if y'all would intervene, Honestly, to remove the male rather than trying to... Absolutely. I want to I wanna throw something woman. out there mm -hmm. that's a real situation. Mm -hmm. So when I was like 20, I want to say like two, mm -hmm. I'm with one of my niggas. I go to his crib. Him and his girl get into a physical fight where I cannot believe that my boy is like that. This is what's going on right mm -hmm. now. And you don't understand all the variables. The variables was we had a show to go to. Mm -hmm. He was rapping. We go to the show. She don't want him to go. He always out. You always got a show to do. You always got this to do. So she takes his keys. So he's trying to leave the crib for us to leave. And he can't leave because he's like, yo, where's my car keys? She got his car keys and won't give them to him. And she's upstairs and he's like, babe, give me my fucking car keys. No, all you think about is this rap shit. Mm -hmm. da, 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 da. Nigga, while I'm down there, they going back and forth yelling. A fucking lamp comes down the steps, hits this nigga in the face. Bang! I see this nigga. Yo! He run up the steps. Now they boxing on the steps. Mm -hmm. I'm like pulling my nigga off his girl. But he giving her that word. I'm keeping it a hundred. Yeah, he's fucking he's, up. He punching her. She holding the key. Just give me my fucking car keys. She's holding on to these keys and taking these punches. I'm trying to pull my mans off, but I watch the entire thing. Transpired. And I From saw like start to and I saw the, the scenario of, yeah, he wrong because he hitting his girl. Right, 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 right. But at the same time, I watched her bust like a fucking like pot. It face. was like a pottery part, you know, that yeah, that, that glass part. part. Yo, that shit bust on his head. Like, and I watched the whole argument where he was calm, just like, yo, I gotta go do my show. And it was just like, no, you ain't. And that's going why nowhere. I tell women, like, for every action is a reaction. Mm -hmm. So when you decide to 
throw a lamp in somebody's face and it shatters their face. Like, just mentally in your brain, right? Granted, because women black out too just as well as men. That's why I always say, like, you know, if you just... With women, we got to be mindful of what we doing sometimes. And I'm not saying that, like, you know, men don't trigger us. But at the same time, if we're going to put our hands or do something physical, you're going to receive something that you didn't want to receive. You not only, and, and, and real quick, I want to add to because this is where I was going with this. Mm -hmm. My other man told me that he saw a scenario like this before with this same what, my same, with the same girl. Homie. Oh, the same, same homie, homie, same girl. Right. And he was like, yo, bro, what the fuck? And Because I didn't mention to him what I saw. Right. You feel me? And he was telling me a story very similar. She's punching on him. He ends up gripping her up on a car. It's like, this is what they do. Dude, yeah. He said he saw it happen, but he said what happened was a neighbor mm -hmm. came out the crib. Like, get your fucking hands off her like a nigga on that yeah. time. And he said, when my man turned to him and looked at him, and what I can't remember the exact words that he said to Bull. He said, Bull just walked, turned around and walked back in the crib. Because what he, whatever he expressed to him was like, my nigga, you don't even want to come over here and be no part of this, my nigga. I promise you. Like, he, I'll kill you. Yeah. And yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, I just wanted to, and I wanted to say, like, and while it's not just the women who, like, kind of, like, provoke it, I want to say, you know, to women, period, who allow it. Right. You know, because GB made a GB it. no, he made a crazy point that I think we we kind of like brushed over a little bit when he said that you'll see this shit, right? And be thinking like, damn, what should I do? Should I intervene or whatever? Mm -hmm. And then regardless of whatever decision you make, whether you get in or not, two days later, here come this couple walking down the street again. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. So that's why I go back to saying women allow this shit on oh, a yeah. on, on a now, now, when you see it happen, regardless of what, love, whatever. Mm -hmm. If we try and put a stop to something and shit like that, man, we got to stand on shit, you right. know? But he said another point, too, because you can be removing him, but the major point that he said out of this whole shit is that she stays there. Yeah, so, and because so you got to ask yourself. So this is, because this is a question I always, I've seen domestic violence. If you, you, you never noticed that the woman never calls the cops? You ever noticed that it's It'd always, the they, want, they always want you to call the cops or the person to intervene, or like you said, the neighbor. She never calls the cops. Yeah. We all got cell I had phones. A, listen, I you know, I, I had to accept this even with like family, sister, everything. At a certain point, if you're going to care about yourself, like if you're a brother and they know they could call upon you to do something, mm -hmm. the last thing you want to do is have smoke with a nigga that your family member, your friend don't even really got smoke with. Oh, man. Listen. It's crazy. Like... A person only got one time with me, and I really got to be be strict with this because I got my own life. You said it before. My own favorite, yeah, this is what said I said before. So this is what I'm telling you. I'm telling you, like, listen, I'll bail you out of this situation with this nigga. Can't go back. You go back with him. I will not involve myself because at the end of the day, now you endangering me and mine mm -hmm. right. based on some shit that you not even going to walk away from. And... If I do something permanent, which niggas in our environment do, right. it'll be your sister, better tell your you. cousin, better tell that'll you. be like, my brother Devin, he did it. He, he, he did it. Not, and now I'm done. Look, and not only that, but like, if, if I just know like you my cousin, you my sister, whatever, like, and because and I just feel like where's the respect and love vice versa? You know what I'm saying? Because... If you stay in toxic shit, like you just super toxic, and like if I find out it's really like you, like the nigga not a bad guy at all, and that and happens, that and happens. It, mm -hmm. no, that's, that's why, that's, that's why, that's, that's, why that's, that's why I'm mentioning mm -hmm. it because yeah. I've I've dealt with it, I've mm -hmm. I've I've like been in similar shit where I'm like, man, I know this guy, you know what I'm saying, and I'm like, you definitely got to think these things through carefully, and you definitely have to like even when it's your family. You got to oh, check yeah. people when they I, wrong. I wanted to say something because GB talked about the woman not leaving and staying in that shit. I can honestly say, people, when they're in love, even no matter how toxic, how fucked up, how abusive, verbally abusive, when you're in love, motherfuckers don't leave no matter, even if it's the best advice coming from their closest friend and their mm -hmm. mom and telling them you need to do this or this man's going to kill you or domestic abuse wouldn't be so high. Yeah. Women to get hit and that shit to be over. Oh, yeah. another but, thing, another thing mm -hmm. though, real quick, slice. 
in some cases, niggas are the scariest people in the world to the point where there are some women mm -hmm. in extreme cases yeah, that they're afraid. They 100% would love for that person to be dead. Right. Mm -hmm. Hey. Well, the way they fear them because that person uh, made a presence that was like like, like my birth mom. Mm -hmm. My birth mom, not my aunt that raised me, mm -hmm. you know, and I call my mom. Mm -hmm. She had a scenario with a dude that was like, he was just dead serious, a wild nigga. He wanted smoke with anybody. Police, other street niggas, mm -hmm. women, whoever. So it wasn't that type of situation where like, he a bitch. If a man come through, mm -hmm. nah, a man came through. That nigga was outside fighting the cops. He was just cops. violent. Yeah, he yeah, was violent. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, he outside fighting the cops. He a jail nigga. He don't give a fuck about nothing. You I know what I'm saying? saying? He a killer. Let me give you a. Uh, so, let so, me, go so ahead, real go quick. Ahead. So like with so with him, it was to the point where my aunt that I call mom tried to give my mom a gun, mm -hmm. and in my mom's head it was like he's going to take, take this, this gun and kill he me. me. It's nothing. I could. I can't stop him. And the times where he was in jail. Life was beautiful. When that nigga would come home, it's like she didn't know how to escape from him. And it was it was wild, bro. It was a real wild. Like some people are really, really, really scared of motherfuckers. She was like level. when Omar got out of jail on the wire. Rest That's it. <laughs> and in our city with 400 murders, it ain't even 365 days. We still got a few months left. I can see why this brother... Was yeah. afraid to step to this guy. So I, uh, my, uh, my son, That's uh, Nah took mm -hmm. in June. He took me to Miami for my birthday, right? So we on. Let me give you the double standard. We on. We on Collins Ave. Collins Ave is a main, the main strip in Miami Beach. Um, so we we in the car and shit, like two cars in front of us, a couple in the car arguing, right? The woman is fucking him. I mean, and, and it's like she hit me with shit, blah, 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 to the point where dude gets out the car. They, they park the car in the middle of Collins Avenue. Like, like Collins is busy as shit. Yeah. She gets out. He's like this, like, yo, stop, stop, stop. She, she sucker punching him. She goes in the car, grabs something. She hitting him with it. The whole time, he's just like protecting himself, protecting himself. To everybody outside, it was fucking hilarious. Right, mm -hmm. nobody ever took into consideration mm -hmm. how in danger he was. I'm like, because I'm thinking to myself, I'm like, yo, if she hit this nigga in the head, which she is fucking, him. she's gonna kill this. Women nigga. has killed men, or, or if she hit him too many times where he finally punched punch her. her. Yep. Listen, mm -hmm. this how bad it got. It got so fucking bad the nigga is running, like he's running down the middle of Collins and she's fucking chasing him. The fucking car is still sitting there. The doors is open. She's chasing this nigga down Collins to get away from her. This nigga hopped in the car with perfect strangers. So when a nigga pulled up, was like, "Yo, bro, just come on, just come on," and put put him in the back seat and just and just turned down the block. Everybody felt like that shit was fucking hilarious. I said, "Damn, bro, if that shit," I said, "She could have killed that nigga." I said, "If this shit was the other way around." Everybody out here be outraged. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's that true, man. And I think, and I think in situations like I mentioned earlier, where women will turn around, like if we do certain shit to women, mm -hmm. and 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 don't get me wrong, it would take a certain kind of man, but they it happens. Like especially, you know, and women like wealthy men. Women like powerful men. Those be the type of situations where a man would be like in a position to be able to like fuck your sister, fuck your best friend. And I'm just saying that if that happened, I'm, I'm not saying it's right. Yeah. I'm not, I, I don't think saying. nobody should lose their life. So yeah. I don't want yeah, nobody yeah, yeah. to ever misconfuse me because I would never take a woman's life. Me well, personally. A woman shouldn't be hitting a man and a man shouldn't be hitting a woman. That's the no, fact. absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. But let's let's just be honest that that shit is out there. It's, it's niggas that would, hold on, hold on, real quick too. It's niggas that would never hit a woman that'll shoot a woman in the head for cheating on him. Yeah, that'll kill her. Yeah. He's like, I'm not an abuser, but... That nigga is I mean, like he he. I mean, I mean, I mean, I'm gonna I'm be honest. Really, I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna be honest. In a lot mean. of these situations, I don't think that a lot of men or women knew that they would even do, do that. Anything. Yeah. I don't even think they knew. I don't mm -hmm. think it'd be like premeditated. Right. right. Like the women, the cases out here that I've heard, like, oh, she killed Bull and then smoked herself. Same yeah. thing, vice versa. Yeah. Bull smoked her, smoked himself. I don't think none of that shit be like premeditated. No, right. right. I, I think it's weak. I don't it's know. absolutely it's no. It's, no, it's, it's no, it's no it's, I think like no matter how much it, 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 it's like 
It's it's a mentally weak thing. It's absolutely. If if you get to the point where you, I don't give a fuck. It's my wife, my girlfriend. I come home, she could be fucking a nigga in the crib. I'm not blowing her head off. And, I, I, and you, you could be that angry. I'm not yeah. saying I wouldn't even put hands yeah. on everybody. And I, I can honestly, I might. Accidents happen. He might yeah. put his hands on her. She could yeah. hit her head. I, that's that's yeah. extreme shit. Yeah. I'm not killing over no pussy in the world. I don't give a fuck if it fuck up my whole family. I don't give a fuck if my kids. We gotta do every weekend. It's 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 a pussy move. It's too many women out here. I'm like go you. on. It's dumb. Not I mean. Don't get me wrong. I'm but with it you. happens all the time. No, I'm with you. And vice versa. Women come in with that race shit. You. It's like yep. it's like it's no it's no love in the world that I want to fuck it. That I will kill somebody over. I, I just, feel like I just eat it. I feel like you know it'd be, let me ask you something. Yes. Would you kill somebody over money? No. Like so, if somebody stole a million dollars from you, you I don't wouldn't? think so. And, no, not and saying, no, no, no. I'm, I, I can't. I, I can't say it a hundred percent fact. No, no, but, but that's good for no. me. But I don't. I'm, I'm different when it comes to money. I don't so, value so, money so over relationships. Good. What I would tell you is, most people, mm -hmm. most people, when they'll talk about something, they will say because it's like some things ain't cool. Like killing somebody mm -hmm. over a woman is like. Nigga, that's some simp shit. Mm -hmm. yeah, killing, killing somebody, somebody over, over a million bread. dollars. They like, hell yeah, for a nigga. I kill a nigga over a million dollars. He stole mm -hmm. a million. You know how much money you put into a, a, a relationship? You done yeah. bought this house? No, no. So what I'm yeah, saying is I know, a person, I if they're going by that mentality of yeah, money, yeah, yeah. nigga, ain't no oh. money like relationship money and you had to give them, you done paid for a person to go to school. It's a lot to that. So <laughs> I'm glad you got that mindset. But money, period. Yeah, but I, I, I watched my homies kill somebody over like, Fifty dollars, right? Crazy. But when you do the math over the number of years, even if you get thirty years, you talking about a little bit of money a year. It, sometimes I don't even loan money unless I'm willing to give it to a motherfucker. I tell you that all the yeah, time. He said all the time. He, he, he said all the time. If I can't, he like when I loan somebody money. If I can't afford to not get the money back, mm -hmm. I don't loan it because well, he looks at every, well, he look at everything like no, I'm just giving it to you. No, but this is the problem. What Porter's talking mm -hmm. about. What he's talking about. A lot of shit ain't just about the money for people. It's principle. It's a pro it's oh, a pride. 100. It's yeah. a pride. So what happens is you gave the person the money and you don't even need, you're not your life's not banking on the money. Mm. It's just the fact that damn, the nigga really think he could just like it's take when my it, money. If they say and you and burn. people, people that, don't get me wrong, respect it's level. With people. Respect level. So a lot of times there's mixed emotions with all of that stuff. You know, and so in short, for me, please, people, relationships, money, all of that. Please don't pay, play with people's lives. You know what I'm saying? Like what Porter always says, keep it honest because mm -hmm. you really cannot predict what a person's going to do. Like Porter said, you don't, those people didn't know they was going to commit those heinous crimes before it happened to them. You do not want to unleash the beast out and, of a person. And, and even though, even though I'm all for, I ain't going to say I'm all for it. Like as far as like, you know, certain amounts of money that people play with. And do I feel as though like a motherfucker should get busted in their fucking head? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, I ain't gonna hold you. It's a thin line here. But don't get me wrong because I wanna be positive. I wanna no, say, no, 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 I wanna I say, I wanna say life is beautiful. No, because I like where you came. Like, no, I don't life... want y'all to think I won't do nothing. No, no, I'm no, strapped no, no. all the time. No, 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 no. But I will, I will <laughs> listen, I will put, I will, I will, I will, I will put, I will no, put no, no, hands no, no. and feet and other but, things but, on a person. No, 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 no. But I'm not like, I'm not murdering over no more. And I know you will. But I like the bigger man. I like the bigger man thing because that's what I'm trying to work mm -hmm. on. Like, because life is beautiful, right? It's beautiful. If you beat me for a million dollars, right? Mm -hmm. I obviously had the potential to make a million somehow, right. some way. Mm -hmm. So I just feel like what we need to do, right, mm -hmm. is start putting our focus on, like, when we see the flags in people like this, because mm -hmm. I think we see the signs a lot of times with people yep. like this. And I think we bypass them. Yep. I think we want to. I think we bypass them because we want to see the the better in people, mm -hmm. and we give people the benefit of the doubt. And you know what I'm saying? Stop. But I think we need to start weeding away from these type people, and 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 really like seeing people for who they are before we allow shit to get to that point. Because me personally, I ain't gonna hold you. I be wanting to bust heads off principle. So let me say principle. that. And, 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 principle and, mean a lot. Though. And just, but just off what you talking about now, like realizing. Me and my life and how important I am, mm -hmm. my children, me to my children. Mm -hmm. If I go bust a motherfucker head, everything that come with it, you know what I'm saying, wasn't even worth it. Because some motherfuckers is just really right. like petty. I'm going to say this and I'm done. I'm going to say this petty. and I'm done. Right. I told my homie, he came home from jail. He in and out of jail all the time. Uh, my homie Cheeks. And I told him, he said why he was in jail, he couldn't forget what I told him. I told him, man, there's no money in the world worth sunlight and coochie. 
And for me, it's nothing mm. heavier. Uh, that, that's just how I live my life. He said all the time. He said all the time. I like that. I like no, that. No, he, I say, he says that all the time. I would give you a million dollars that has sure. sunlight and pussy. So and in a lot of jails, ain't no sunlight. You can't even tell what time of the day it is. So uh-huh. yeah, when he came home and he said it to me, and I don't think Cheeks mm-hmm. been back to jail since. But for me, it, it, that's how impactful it is. And I mean, that's, that's how I live my life, though. That's and, real. And as far as like loaning money, like like how niggas be, you know, fucking relationships over. Because you said something that's important. Mm-hmm. You was like, yo, I don't value money over relationships. The way the way that I move is, I actually won't loan somebody money. That I don't necessarily that that I anybody that I feel like I might have to have that I'm a bust you on your head I I wouldn't give them the money because I, I always right. give people money in in I don't expect it back even if you say yo G let me borrow five hundred when I give you the five hundred you I'm never going to ask you for it back unless you come back and be like yo bro here go with that money I owe you. I don't so because right. I don't loan money to people that like I, I that I don't love. Mm-hmm. If it, I don't think, and I was gonna say that I don't think with a loan, I don't think in those situations because we're not going like you said. If I loan you something, it's because I fuck with you. I had some mm-hmm. type of so I don't think in those situations we'll be busting anybody's heads. Mm-hmm. But it's when somebody finesse you, or when somebody kind of like take you. something yeah. from yeah. you, or yeah, when somebody that's... lied to you to kind of like, that, that changes it. Hold on, I think it's it, the thing where now because I ain't go front. I've had situations where I let niggas like borrow money from me. And you wanted to bust a head. And then they didn't give me the bread back and it was cool until I saw them spending money. Uh, like, like, with the Ferragamo like, belt yeah. on. I'm like, hold on, this nigga got a bitch out go taking a bit. Like he's doing shit. He got my money. But yeah. then when I call or reach out, it'd be like, yeah, bro. like it's always an excuse. Mm-hmm. Like, nah, bro, actually this was a, a, a trip that I won mm-hmm. and yeah. such and such. It's like, bro, you still owe me 1500 and you playing, and they feel like you playing in my face. But it all go back to pride, because it might not be about mm-hmm. the, the, the bread. Actual amount. The yeah. But let something bad happen to you, where some sh- crazy shit happened. Like when I, I went through things before mm-hmm. where in my business, I ran into problems with the township. And all of a sudden, that shit was costing me thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars. Oh, you got to do this. You got to do this. You got to put this in your studio. You got to do all mm-hmm. this. You start thinking about motherfuckers that owe you money. Real yeah, fast. Uh, real like, fast. real quick, you be like, yeah, he owe me 12. This nigga mm-hmm. right here owe me 1500 He owe me six. Where my bread at? at the now same, you mad. Now you want your at money. the same time, I kind of like, I kind of like it to a certain extent. And I mean, especially when it be petty shit. Right? Because petty shit just lets me know, like, I bought you for that. That's what my uncle I got saying. rid of you for that. I got rid of you for $20. Thank I got, you. Rid, of you I got rid of you for 200 I got rid of you for 1000 It don't matter. Like, that's, to me, you petty. I know me. I know where we headed. Mm-hmm. I know what we trying to create. I know what we got going. Right? And this shit, if I was you, I would have did it at the million dollar level. Because we going there. Right? And motherfuckers be petty. It be on petty levels. Yep. If you want to lose a friendship or you want to lose yep. a motherfucker who you could have actually went to in hard times over 20 bucks, mm-hmm. all right, Petty Eddie. What's crazy is one of my homies, we talked about him earlier, mm-hmm. uh, Red, you know, yeah. old Red nigga. One of his boys, he's, he's, he's cool, I'm cool with him, mm-hmm. but I'm cool with him through him. He actually owed me some bread. Mm-hmm. And I remember actually being tight about it because I felt like, what niggas think? Because they like, on a set that you yeah. gonna not give me my bread. You feel what I'm saying? And I was mad as hell and I haven't seen him since. Mm-hmm. He just hit me up. And it was petty money. We talking about petty money. <laughs> he hit me up recently. Yo, bro, I, it's been two years. Mm-hmm. Yo, bro, I've been locked up for the last <laughs> year. Like, nigga, I've been bagged, bro. I yeah. just came home. And his first thing was like, yo, I've been thinking about the fact that I owed you money. I owe you $12. <laughs> <laughs> the whole time. The good guy. Yo, the whole time. He's the good guy. As soon as I'm on my feet, he was like, bro, I just so came I'm home. Saying, I'm like, holy Absolute. shit. Yeah. Listen, I love people like that because I actually, I actually, and it, 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 I don't want people to think we just be shooting shit, but I'm a big hearted person. I get that shit away, bro. I get that shit away. And even like I get that shit away. And I and I love people like that because a lot of times people surprise me. I'll get a call or I just get a visit and they be like, nah, Rich, I had that hundred for you. Rich, yeah. I had that one fifty for you. And I've been in forgotten. I'll be like, this, yeah. this is my man. If Good you, person. If you burn me, that's your karma, bro. I don't, I don't I'm not if I if I had it to give it to you, obviously it wasn't gonna kill me to give it to you. So if you burn me out of that out of that money, you bought that. And, you could take that. Mm-hmm. Like you said, I just paid. I got you out of my life for five hundred because yeah. it could have been five thousand. Yeah, no, 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 but what's and funny? was funny when I was young. I used to give out my my mom used to always be like, "Why are you like this?" I could literally have 
nothing to my name. I'm talking about when I was young, like mm-hmm. I got $150. I'm fucked up. Mm-hmm. My mans could call me up and be like, bro, I ain't got my whole car payment, bro. The I need, I need, I need motherfucking a hundred dollars. I would give up a, a hundred. I, now I only got 50 and then see a nigga doing some other shit and be he I, don't yeah. know, be hot. Like it turned the threats real fast, bro. Remember <laughs> threat threats <laughs> for the motherfucker on the yeah. joint nigga. Yeah. Yeah. Motherfuckers gotta really work on self because I just feel like if if I if you're not dependable or reliable mm-hmm. or can prioritize enough or organize yourself enough or be disciplined enough where I can't deal with you with a couple fucking hundred. Mm-hmm. I can't deal with you with a couple fucking dollars, a fucking thousand, shit like that. Motherfuckers like that shouldn't say a fucking word when people around them make millions. Mm-hmm. When your family and people like that or your friends do some shit and create some shit to make motherfucking millions and you was the same nigga that really couldn't even fuck with the $100 opportunities because I'm around and we, you know, we we deal with this shit. Since I was a young guy, we've been in circles in the streets and different shit where money gets made mm-hmm. and you find out who's who, who's who, who's capable of what and what positions people could play. And a lot of times people tell on themselves when they do shit like that. When you borrow 20 bucks from your people and you think it's cool to just think they forgot. Fuck mm-hmm. it. But then you're going to come back in seven months and try to get 20 more. I ain't forget. I've been waiting for you. Yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, man. For real. And the top, we're going to end this. We're going to get out of this quarter. But for real, for real, man, it's not COVID no more. So because it's not COVID no more, the price of pussy is back up to forty dollars. Goodbye. Um, from it's thirty-seven. Not, goodbye, from, from Jesus. thirty-seven. You know when you mentioned? Hold on, you know so when, niggas need their money back. Uh, hold on, man. you know when you mentioned COVID, they instantly just block everything. Yeah, really. Well, I ain't say vaccination. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. The moral is oh, don't loan nobody yeah, no money and don't be fucking up your Instagram bitch. been blocking our shit. Yo, Yo, any forty shorties out there know what to do. Oh my god. <laughs> Not a Richie Diaz. Yo, that's the <laughs> end. That's the end of the motherfucking second half. Talk heavy. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Nah. DJ. Appreciate y'all for coming back out with us. We really do. Sure. Welcome to the off season. How y'all wanna start it off? No. Go first. Why is y'all always putting that shit on me? Might as well just go. That's a lot of fucking pressure. Before I leave, they take the show from me See a lot of green when niggas' nose running Kazoo tight, handkerchiefs don't even want to burn right Know that I'm convincing when they come to willing Make a dyke turnpike, everything a souvenir We finna put that op in there just like a new idea You don't gotta tell me who been nervous, shit, I know who's scared You don't gotta tell me who been real, shit, I know who there Cleaning all my little niggas stash, shit is dope in there I ain't got no papers, bitches hide a nigga cold from here I ain't gotta buzz my niggas in, they know the code from here they been running around with dirty mobs dripping overboard They don't say a word when you got magic like you Voldemort And keep it on the next score Trying to put a couple red holes around the black And send them all around the set I hit them all but we connect for it Take a lot of chess to move the checkboard On to the next score Never let the paint dry on you Just cause she smiles she ain't rich like Mona You know what's up if Jones fuck around And go and put his left eye on you Remix and let them text fly on you I need a whole mount Me and squad found some new wheels And it's been roll bounce Knock out, no count, them devils got it sold now Such a shame when you been from the lowdown Blue home and everybody know now They paying for them shows Represent now them people that was raising me I came from the light, that's why I shine with these They pray for me, deadly blessings I take with me Every day that I wake, I can't fake the love that was gay to me Knowing I got some changes to make, so I'm moving carefully Weird to me how these characters move in this movie Ain't no shit up from losing, they see it dubbed and we cool and I don't like it Just keep away from me, honestly I could tell if you not for me, learn that I'm gonna be the one, they still gon' throw them shots at Regardless, they heartless, we let a hater hate Same one spinning back around before my ending game I win and race, you call pace They can't stop my run, no, I can't finish late Pick a date, we gon' get it done They call me baby great, ain't no mistake When they say I'm the one, I heard my homies say This shit ain't safe, it's time I keep me one No, I can't pick a bait Shorty fine as hell, might be enough No, I can't fool no break It's that time, they need me in the clutch Yeah, I'm gone Stab me, left me with a rough yeah. back In the crunch time, all we know is duck one time Shooters with me on front line 
Don't know how I got it, but they want mine Virgil Hawkins keep giving them static Dwelling shock and they rerun mine, yeah All or nothing but loyalty in my bloodline Cuz told me that the streets ain't what you think Enjoy your sun time Used to post up, now I'm riding through like Mitch's lunchtime Hit the steakhouse, lobster my side Remember top rhyming, now I'm top climbing Only option, get right or get a left Really ain't got no pity left Life is a bitch I can't reject 16, kid with a kid, trying to do his best When the smoke clears, I'm trying to see who's left Double back, take away Zimmerman, bring my cousin back Lost many to disaster, the trash yeah, I'm numb in fact Get it twisted, we get it poppin' This ain't no bubble wrap I ain't gotta like you for your head to get a double tap Now run with that No feelings around me, all good vibes and bad bitches Try to learn from all of my errors Something like bad pitches I was up in class with it Now I know me knocking on the door Like I promised, bro, this my last visit Heard it all Niggas know it's curtains If ever too old, get hurt involved Only in the cheddar, the beef to me I just watch him fall Guess who, like, knock it off Bitches now they asking who been popping off Uh Nah. Mm. Shout out to Talk Heavy. Shout out to Devin Wade Show, man. Uh. Appreciate y'all for having us.